Welcome to the Shift Care Learning Centre. In today's session, we'll be taking you through everything you need to know about the Shift Care mobile app. Let's get started by downloading the Shift Care app to your mobile device. Your manager will send you an email invitation and all you need to do is click the invitation link within that email and you'll be prompted then to enter a password. Once you've entered your password, you'll receive the download link for the Shift Care app, which is available on both Apple and Android devices. Once you've downloaded the app to your phone, open the app up and just enter your email and password to log into Shift Care. Let's take a look at viewing your schedule in Shift Care. Once you've logged in, you'll see the main menu screen and if you click on My Schedule, you'll be able to see a complete list of your shifts. If you click on a shift, you'll have uh, details around the date, time and location of the shift. And if you've got multiple clients on, just click the client list and you'll be able to see the clients that you'll be working with for the day. In the description area, if you click description, it will just give you some details that uh, your team might have put in the shift around uh, things like the key location and what the, the lock code is for, that, uh, for the key lock. And if you click on the map, it'll open up the Maps app and you'll be able to get directions to the location of the client from your current location. I'll just click back now and if we go to the calendar, you can actually navigate uh, forwards and backwards throughout time. So if you wanted to go back and have a look at previous shifts, uh, you can go back to previous months and, and have a look uh, at the shifts you've done. You can also uh, just have a look by the little blue dots, um, the days that you do have shifts as well. And the blue date is the current date today. You may have also noticed that there's some shifts that are booked and some that are pending. Uh, with a pending shift, uh, it just means that your management team want you to confirm your availability for that shift. So if you click on the shift, you'll see the buttons down the bottom that say decline and accept. So you can um, decline the shift or accept the shift. You won't be able to clock into the shift until you accept it. So as soon as you do click accept, you'll see the clock in button will appear. Let's take a look at clocking in and clocking out of your shifts. When it's time to clock into a shift, uh, just go into Shift Care and select the shift that you want to clock into. And you'll see the clock in button appear down the bottom there. Uh, you must be within the location of the uh, address that the client is located at, otherwise you won't be able to clock in. And I'll show you what that looks like uh, in a minute. So uh, just press clock in. That will uh, clock you into the shift. And at the end of your shift, you can uh, come back in and then clock out. Now, if I was outside of the location of the client, for example, um, this next shift is with Tammy uh, in Bondi. If I try to uh, clock into this shift now, it won't let me um, because the actual phone's location isn't matching the shift location. So you've got to be within proximity of the actual client's address before you can clock in and clock out of a shift. So just keep that in mind in case you get a, a, a clock in failure. You may also get a clock-in failure if uh, you're not, a, not in a mobile reception area. Uh, so just keep that in mind. If you do get a clock-in failure and you don't have mobile reception, uh, it's always best to uh, just put a note onto the actual shift itself and notify your manager afterwards um, once you're in a mobile reception area just to let them know that you've um, clocked in at a particular time. Let's take a look at completing tasks in your shift. Shifts with a task will have the three red lines uh, on the top right hand corner. If you click on the shift and go down to the bottom here, you'll see the tasks. Uh, we've got zero out of four completed. If I click on tasks, it will show me uh, the tasks that are required to be performed during my shift. If you see any that are bold, they are mandatory. Uh, if you don't uh, tick those off, you will not be able to clock out of your shift. So for example, if I um, just select a couple of those and I leave this one unchecked. If I go back and try and clock out, it will actually fail my clock out because I haven't completed um, all the mandatory tasks. So you must uh, go into the tasks, uh, make sure you've done the tasks successfully, uh, and then you'll be able to clock out of your shift. Let's take a look at adding progress, feedback and incident notes. To add notes, just select the shift that you wanted to uh, put the notes into. Down the bottom there's a progress icon. If you just click on that, uh, you'll see a plus symbol and click the plus symbol and you'll be able to enter a number of different options. So Shiftcare lets you add uh, progress feedback, incident and inquiry notes into the shift. Uh, in this particular example, I'll just show you how to add a progress note in. 
If you have multiple clients on the shift, you can add individual progress notes for uh, either client. If you want to add just general notes for the shift itself uh, or for both clients, you can just enter the notes in here as well. Uh, to save you typing, uh, you can use the microphone dictation option down the bottom right hand corner of your screen. So if we click on that, I can just dictate the notes into Shift Care. We went down to the beach today and had ice cream, full stop. We didn't stay for too long as it started getting a little cold, full stop. So ShiftCare makes it pretty easy for you to enter your notes in uh, to a shift. There's also an option to upload images as well. So if you wanted to upload uh, an image uh, of you having ice cream with your clients or you might have had an incident uh, that you need to take a photo of, you can also uh, upload photos into those notes as well. And you can add the uh, photos to any uh, progress note as well. Just make sure you press save uh, when you're finished doing your notes. So if I wanted to um, add feedback, incident or inquiry, uh, it's the same format. Um, you can add notes, upload images, and all of those progress notes and any other incident notes will appear in the notes section uh, within Shift Care. Let's take a look at how to add mileage and expenses to your shift. To add mileage to a shift, uh, just select the shift that you're currently on. You go down to the progress button down the bottom, click on the plus button, and you'll see there's a mileage uh, icon there. Just click on the mileage icon. You can enter the kilometers that you want to claim for, the clients that you want to claim for. So if you've got, uh, say you're doing drop-offs and pickups, you might want to put uh, a certain amount of kilometers against uh, one client and a different amount against another. Uh, in this particular instance, I'm just claiming 50 kilometers for all, all clients. Um, you can put a note in there just to say that it's for mileage. Um, you may also need to take a photo of the odometer readings. If your manager asks you, you can upload an image uh, before and after uh, of the odometer and you can save that photo as well as your claim for kilometers uh, within Shift Care. If you wanted to add an expense, just click the plus button and go down to expense. And here you can add a dollar amount for an expense claim. So you might want to claim for um, like parking, for example. So just type in parking. You can upload an image of the receipt as well, um, which is really handy. So the uh, image of the receipt will go through to your manager and the $52 claim will also go through to the shift. Just click on save. Uh, any of the expenses or mileage claims will appear in the notes section here, in the progress notes. So you'll be able to have uh, fairly easy access and also be able to go back and have a look at these um, after the shift has occurred as well, just for your records. Let's take a look at accessing client documents in Shift Care. Client notes can be found within the shift. Uh, you'll only have access to client notes if you've been rostered on uh, with a particular client. So in this example, I'm just gonna click on this shift. You can uh, click on the client button on the right hand side here. Select the client uh, whose documents you'd like to have a look at. And here we've got three sections, detailed documents and goal. The detail is just a general profile that your manager might, may have put on uh, Tammy's profile. So she just likes going for a walk and uh, just to make sure that you leave the house tidy before you leave. They will probably also be in your progress notes uh, or your tasks as well. Uh, it's always good to come in here and, and take a look as well, just in case there's some other detail that you, that you might've missed in the shift. Uh, the documents is in the documents section. So here uh, we have several documents available. So we've got a behavior report, a medical incident report form, and a client profile report. So your managers may upload uh, multiple documents for your clients, and these can easily be accessed just by clicking on the uh, report name, and you can then view those reports uh, within your browser. Let's take a look at adding client goal progress. Your manager may have set up some goals for your clients to achieve. Uh, these can be accessed just by clicking on the shift, uh, going down to progress, clicking on the plus button, and then pressing goal. You'll then be able to see the goals that uh, have been added for, in this uh, case, Tammy. And if you click on the writing at the top there, you'll get more details. So Tammy must complete warm up before heading out for a walk. Now, if Tammy or you think Tammy's completed that uh, goal successfully, you can give her a star rating out of five. So we'll give her five stars today and click save. 
and that uh, star rating will then go back to your management team so they can track and monitor Tammy's goal progress. Let's take a look at viewing your company documents. Your company may have uh, uploaded some company documents and to access those you can just go up to the top left hand side menu and down into document hub and this will give you a list of all of the document policies and leave application forms for example that you can download straight onto your phone so if you click on any one of these uh, it'll just open up in a web browser and you can take a look at it directly on your phone uh, to get back to Chiffcare, just navigate back and to get back to your schedule uh, you can click the top left icon again and just go back into my schedule let's take a look at viewing your personal documents to access your documents uh, just click on the left hand side menu up the top here and go into my documents and here you'll see a list of all of the documents we've uploaded into shift care you'll notice also some of these have expiry dates on them so when it comes time you may receive a reminder that these documents are expiring or have expired and you'll receive the notifications up in the top left hand corner again if we go to notification uh, this is where the notifications will be stored. So here you can see my police checks expiring in 30 days and it's just a note to me to uh, you know, let my manager know that uh, I've got a new police check and, and to get that emailed in and updated. To get back to the scheduler, just click on the menu column again and go to my schedule. Let's take a look at adding shift unavailability. To add your unavailability, when you're in the schedule view, just click the plus button down the bottom and there's an add unavailability icon that you can click on. This will allow you to select uh, the dates that you're going to be unavailable and you might notice that there's some dates that are greyed out so your manager may want uh, you to give 10 days notice for leave therefore the previous 10 days from today's date will be greyed out. Select the dates that you want to uh, apply for leave for and it will ask you whether or not you want this to be an all day leave request or whether it's for a particular time so you can actually select particular times of the day uh, or you can select all day to select the leave if you want to do multiple days you can also select multiple days as well and then click the save button and that information will be sent back to your manager and will appear on the scheduler as unavailable to get back to the schedule just click back and you'll be back at the main schedule screen we hope you enjoyed today's session on the Shiftcare mobile app. For further information or assistance, you can email us at support at shiftcare.com and all of our help articles are available at help.shiftcare.com.